Questions of Doom. Hello and welcome back to another Questions of Doom. In this series, as ever, I attempt to answer questions that you send my way using the archaeosoup at gmail.com email address, as displayed on the YouTube channel homepage, but also, as you'll see at the end of this video. In answering these questions by video, it is my hope that the answer will be made useful not only to the person who has asked the question, but also anyone else out there who may be wondering the same thing. Now, today's question comes from an intrepid archaeology student um, who asks actually a very valid question, because it's certainly something which I wondered about when I was a student, and it's, uh, it goes like this. Dear Mr. Soup, <clears throat> I am an archaeology student at Liverpool University. Ah, grand. Good, good Egyptology department, or so I'm led to believe. I once saw Howard Carter's signature in a museum there. Yeah. Um, I'm increasingly concerned. Are there any great finds left to make? Will there ever be uh, another Tutankhamun? Cheers, RB. Well, RB, uh, you ask quite a good question. I certainly have wondered this in the past. I know. I remember when I was uh, in my my first year when I was doing um, a combination of archaeology and anthropology. I switched to full archaeology in the second year. Um, I, uh, I certainly had a moment when I thought, what, is there anything out there? Is there anything left to discover? Is the age of the great age of pioneers over? Um, and then the very next day, um, a story hit the newspapers, which was about Homo floresiensis, um, the, the so-called Hobbit man or Hobbit people uh, found um, uh, just the well just the week before um, miniaturized people living on a small island even making mini tools and uh, if that's not uh, something which is exciting and new I don't know what is so um, I suppose what I'd say is uh, touch wood um, uh, as soon as you say these types of things it's often uh, something will prove you wrong and um, <laughs> and in, in that case it certainly did for me um, in terms of uh, in terms of great finds that are happening, I suppose they're on different scales. Sometimes they are huge new sites. For example, recently uh, in the past uh, past couple of months, I suppose uh, there's been a developing story in Bulgaria about uh, a site which may actually be a little bit like Stonehenge here in the UK in terms of its importance. Um, it's it's a, a prehistoric complex. They're not quite sure. Uh, where it's going to go, but it, it's it's been found because of uh, the development of a highway. Um, that's that's certainly new, that's certainly on a scale that we're talking about with Tutankhamun. But then there are other, um, as I say, other scales, such as, uh, for example, recently the, there's been a, a reanalysis of Ertzi, yet again, Ertzi the Iceman. He keeps on being revisited, and uh, and and in this instance, the, 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 there's been an analysis of his blood, which shows um, the, the relationship between the wound, which caused the uh, the the arrow to be lodged in his uh, or just behind his scapula, um, and his death is not necessarily uh, what what people have thought previously. So uh, that's that's a whole different scale. Revisiting sites uh, can be can be just as informative and such a just as massive a find in many ways as the great. Well, as I was just saying, I suppose, as the great Howard Carter Tutankhamun type deal. Um, I suppose, uh, really, it boils down to whether or not you're happy to, to further knowledge and to expand on what some people may see as trivial information, but really uh, uh, what should be seen as, as vitally important stuff. Um, also, actually, as well, in the UK uh, last year, it was the find at Ardna Merken, um, a, uh, a Viking um, ship burial. Um, not a huge one, admittedly, but nonetheless, um, it was the only uh, so far um, Norse ship burial found in, in in that part of the world. And also, it, it's adding to, uh, to to an increasing weight of uh, of so-called Dark Age material, um, which shows that the Dark Ages were anything but dark. They they were bright, they were vibrant. And the UK was at the heart of this kind of vibrant, uh, bustling network of transport, trade and uh, tribulation um, across the North Sea and beyond. So um, in, in, that, in that sense, as I say, it's, it's happening every day. And as um, yesterday, Mrs. Soup very uh, cannily said, um, you don't know what you don't know. And uh, in other words, there's always likely to be something out there which, uh, which will blow your socks off. So what I'd say to you, RB, if you're thinking, there's no point, why, 
why am I studying archaeology? There's nothing else out there to find. Um, I'd say don't, you know, don't don't be too down on yourself. Don't be too too down on archaeology. Also, look at the Staffordshire hoard. Uh, that was found uh, again relatively recently. A gold hoard in the middle of. Staffordshire, um, which uh, which hitherto had not been known about. Yet again, it's from that uh, time uh, and place after the Roman Empire when lots of people had previously dismissed it as being barren, no pottery, no glass, glass rather. Um, but uh, instead, we found a huge, a huge mound. Well, a huge uh, mound in terms of the the importance of the find of gold. Lots and lots of, of vibrant, beautiful objects, which um, uh, if you'd asked people even ten years ago. Uh, what 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 was that time and place like? They probably say, well, fairly dreary. You know, it was important to the people who like it, but not necessarily uh, full of interesting stuff. And yet, there we go, uh, the Staffordshire hoard. So as I say, R B, chin up, uh, relax, and complete your degree because there's bound to be something out there. Uh, and uh, every day, there's a new discovery being made, or old discoveries are being revisited with vibrant and exciting results. Now, um, this has been a short, sharp, and sweet question of doom. The main reason being that uh, what I wanted to do was throw the forum out to you guys who are watching uh, to comment below. What's your favourite find of recent times? And um, what I would like to do at this point is in fact play a bugle call to call in the cavalry. But unfortunately, Mrs. Soup is asleep next door, so I shan't. Um, however, uh, the figurative bugle call has gone out, and I'd like, um, if you guys have any uh, thoughts on this, if you have your favourite find of recent times, please do comment below and uh, let RB know just exactly uh, why he should be enthusiastic and indeed uh, hmm, have a jolly outlook on archaeology. So there you go. Until next time, guys, thanks again for asking the question, RB, and I shall see you uh, around the bend. Bye-bye.